Google SketchUp 8 is the most powerful version of SketchUp we've ever built. For this release, we decided to focus on three main areas. Building models that know where they belong, powerful new tools for additive and subtractive modeling, and turning your 3D models into compelling 2D documents and using them throughout your SketchUp Pro workflow. Let's start from the beginning. Whether you're making buildings for Google Earth or gathering context information for a site model, you need to be able to tell SketchUp where your model is. We replace the old Get Current View button with Add Location. Clicking it opens a Google Maps window where you can choose an area to bring into SketchUp. The 3D terrain you get is more detailed and accurate than ever, and for the first time, the aerial imagery is in color. This makes everything from photo texturing your roof to studying shadows easier and more compelling. If you need to model an existing building, there's nothing faster than Google Building Maker. Building Maker is a free online tool that you can use to model existing buildings based on aerial imagery that we provide. For SketchUp 8, we built a direct pipe between the applications, so you can start a model in Building Maker, transfer it into SketchUp, and continue to work on it there. In fact, now you can open any Building Maker model in SketchUp, even ones made by other people. You can add detail, improve the photo textures, or even ignore the imagery and assemble a massing model to provide context for your own design. Combined with features we introduced in the last version of SketchUp, you can now bring in a color 3D terrain snapshot, import any nearby pre-modeled buildings, use SketchUp and Building Maker to model any other structures you need, get photo textures from Street View, and preview your work in 3D in Google Earth. SketchUp 8 brings the world into your modeling window. Also new for SketchUp 8 are solids. A solid is a group or component whose geometry is completely watertight. No gaps, holes, or extra edges allowed. If a group or component is solid, SketchUp will calculate its volume. Just look in the Entity Info dialog box to see it. If you see a volume, you've got a solid. The main reason for introducing solids in SketchUp 8 has to do with a powerful new set of modeling operations we call the Solid Tools. Available only in SketchUp Pro, the Solid Tools let you combine multiple shapes to create new ones. Union adds together two or more solids. Intersect leaves you with the parts of multiple solids that overlap. Subtract uses one solid to cut a chunk out of another. Trim is a little bit like a subtract. It's perfect for modeling close-fitting parts and joinery. Split turns two solids into three. Part one, part two, and the part they had in common. Solid modeling in SketchUp Pro is guaranteed to save you time and effort, and that's exactly what new tools are supposed to do. SketchUp Pro 8 comes with Layout 3, a completely unique companion app for turning your 3D models into multi-page design docs and presentations. We added dimensioning in SketchUp 7.1, and people suddenly started using layout to make docs that look a lot like construction drawings. Scaled orthographic views, dimensions, annotations, title blocks, the whole enchilada. Along with hundreds of bug fixes and other improvements, Layout 3 adds four major new features. Precise Move lets you designate any part of an object as a reference point, making it easier to, you guessed it, move things precisely. Now it's easier than ever to put things exactly where you want them to be. Different tasks call for different line styles. We've added a couple of settings to Layout 3's Shape Style dialog box that you can use to tweak your lines to your heart's content. Being able to dimension angles is a critical part of putting together a set of dimension drawings. That's why the new Angular Dimension tool is so important. Combined with our innovative Label tool and the Linear Dimension tool we added last year, there's nothing you can't annotate with Layout 3. As more and more people have decided to produce detailed drawing sets with Layout, they sometimes need to share their files with other CAD systems. With Layout 3, you can export your drawings directly to DXF or DWG 2010 format. Real-world models that know where they are, solid modeling operations, drafting and workflow enhancements in Layout, and plenty more. Visit sketchup.google.com and upgrade to SketchUp 8 today.